this is being run by an expert cook, don't try this at home all by yourself, it could be dangerous. These are not crackers for Diwali, this is just Indian cooking <laughs> I was to visit the construction sites and various other things in the ashram, but uh, it's a very wet day, so I decided uh, <laughs> I'll do some Indian cooking. Looking at the quantity, don't think I'm going to eat all this. Having a few guests at home today, it's a rainy day, so all we can do is eat and talk. So I thought I'd treat them, surprise them a bit with some amount of cooking. This is the kind of cooking which needs your involvement every moment. It's not something that you can set it up and forget about it. Uh, that is why it has the power to enslave you through your tongue. Well, once they eat my cooking, they will be in love with me for sure <laughs> Well, this is my own unique masala. Sorry, I can't give you the taste through the video. Here we are, making some nice parotta, really. In South India we call it chapati, but actually it's a parotta. So, though there was food in the ashram, I decided to learn cooking. I've never really entered kitchen and learned anything before that. But uh, because I thought, I thought it would be very meaningful and important because Radhe loved Vidhi's cooking so much and my Vidhi had learned cooking from my mother. So I went back to my sister, picked up a few things, then developed many things of my own. Well, now at least Many years ago, a few years ago rather, uh, I got certified by my daughter that I'm the best cook in the world. Ah, so, not bad, almost like a moon, full moon, huh? I'm saying if the chapati looks like the map, at least if you get in Australia, you're doing okay. South America, bad. But if you get Indonesia, ooh. Cool. Ah, see my parotta is puffing up like a puri, huh? Hmm? Ah, it just cooked inside with hot air. Ha ha ha!